Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and uh, today I'm gonna review a guitar. It's been a while, um, and this has been uh, one of the most frequent requests. Um, so yeah, I hope you find this useful. Uh, it is the Squire Affinity Strat. Um, a while ago I did the Squire Affinity Telecaster, and this is the Stratocaster model. Uh, probably one of the most sold guitars in the world currently. This is not the latest uh, model I bought new, but it's not the, uh, the model that they are selling uh, brand new actually at the moment. Uh, I'll go through uh, the differences. Uh, but it's uh, similar enough uh, uh, to make this review uh, valuable, I think. Okay, let's start at the top. And what do you find? If not Proper tuners, uh, just like on the Affinity Telecaster. Really good, solid, uh, stays in tune. Uh, amazing. So, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, we have a maple neck, a rosewood fingerboard, and... Uh, yeah. Really nice. Uh, medium jumbo frets. Um, um, yeah. It's not much to say about that either. A nine and a half inch radius, uh, so it's rather flat for being a Stratocaster guitar. We have um, a Gathis uh, body, and that's a difference between this one and, <coughs> and the current model, because they have older. Um, and the older is, of course, the wood that Fender usually makes strats out of, and should in theory be better. It's not necessarily true since wood is wood. So it's not like if you have that kind of wood it will always be like this because um, yeah it's different from every <laughs> every tree and uh, I suppose since this is um, a Gathis is a rather cheap wood used in cheap guitars. LTD uses it in all of their cheap models and it's probably made at the same factory. Uh, I suppose that this is high grade Agathis and the oil that they use in Affinity is, is low grade. So, well, yeah, I'll come back to that later. Uh, we have three pickups. One motor volume, uh, a tone for the neck pickup, and a tone for the middle pickup, and a five-way switch, and the output jack. This is standard uh, Stratocaster uh, stuff. Four bolt neck, and a Strat trem. What do you know? Um, yeah, materials and hardware, uh, all the parts uh, are good and the materials uh, for the price is really good so I give it a 9. Um, how is it put together then? Uh, well the neck is amazing it has the C profile uh, satin finish feels like bare wood um, and it just plays so nice this rather flat radius as well uh, when I tried it out last night, I couldn't stop playing actually. Uh, it just, yeah, it feels so good. And the neck is, there are no gaps anywhere in the neck pocket. It's really well suited in. The frets are really nice, polished, no sharp ends anywhere and really work nice. Um, the paint job, this is the red metallic version, and uh, on the pictures I was thinking, maybe not. Um, but in real life, it actually looks much better. It's uh, It actually looks really good. Uh, we have a one-ply uh, scratch plate. That's what you get for the price, but it's... Uh, compared to the bullet strap, this is uh, put together well. Uh, um yeah uh, yeah and durability wise well it's a strat and this has good parts so psh, buy this and have it for the rest of your lifetime uh, i can't see how it can fail you in any way 
build quality durability a nine again playability um as i said the neck is amazing i really love this neck uh plays really well it's really it's like made from my hands at least it really invites you to play uh, the body of the affinity struts are slightly thinner than a regular strut and uh, I, this piece of a gathis uh, is very light so it's almost neck heavy when you're sitting down and all together it makes this guitar extremely light i've never tried a strut that's this light and that makes it very playable and enjoyable to play and you can sit with it for hours and you won't notice it's there uh, the action is really low and uh, the intonation was spot on straight out of the box. So I'm amazed. I'm amazed. What can I say? Another nine for playability. This is a really good guitar. I'm, s I'm, I'm really surprised to be honest. Electronics. Well, well, there has to be some flaws. Um, well, as you can see, all plastic parts are made from the whitest material in the universe um, and it looks really cheap um, and the pickups look extra cheap because the, the actual m coils here or the magnets are so small and it just makes it look cheap I don't know <laughs> and electronic wise well the knobs they work um, uh, in comparison to for instance, the Epiphone, where they don't always do that. They feel kind of wobbly, and in s s this certainly does. The fiber switch feels really loose, and you're thinking, oh my god, I'm going to break it. So for electronics, I have to, I can't give it that high of a number, but it works, I'll tell you that. Um, Get to seven. Okay, let's play it then, and uh, as usual, I go through a clean sound and try out all the pickup combinations. So here we have a bridge, uh, bridge and middle together, middle, uh, middle and neck together, and neck pickup alone. And uh, as usual, when I have working tone knobs, I've turned down the tone knob uh, of the neck pickup just a tiny bit, so you can see uh, or hear uh, the difference it makes. Okay, here's a clean sound. Okay, um, yeah, they aren't really even uh, in volume. Uh, the bridge pickup is actually slightly 
has slightly less volume. Uh, so I suppose they are the same pickups because usually uh, nowadays they make the bridge pickup a little harder so it balances with the others. Um, well, okay, here's a uh, sound with a little bit more overdrive, okay. <laughs> And finally, a uh, more um, high gain lead sound with some delay. Okay, and yeah, sounds. I give it an 8 for that. Um, I mean, they, the pickups are good, uh, especially for the price. Uh, they are single calls, and single calls are supposed to sound like this, I think. Uh, they aren't too overpowered. And again, it's a single call thing. Uh, they aren't supposed to have a lot of power and output, uh, and that is 
that's a good thing when you want a really clean uh, clean sounds are really defined uh like when you're playing arpeggios and everything your notes really shine through the single coils in a completely different way than with humbuckers double coil pickups um yeah i like the sound of this guitar uh, i really do and yeah 8.4 all in all uh, i like this guitar as it is um If they had put another sticker up here, it wouldn't say this, this is horrible, by the way, it looks really horrible. Uh, if it said Fender, I wouldn't have told the difference. Uh, I played the uh, Mexican made Stratocaster, there are much worse than this one. And this is the like one of the cheapest Squire models, this is even the, the expensive Squire models, uh, relatively expensive. Um, so I'm amazed. Uh, it's made in Indonesia, and they make great guitars in Indonesia at the moment, and it costs like nothing. Uh, my suggestion is buy one of these, because the prices will rise, and uh, if you ask me, they, these will probably become collectibles in the future, because they are of that high of quality. Uh, uh, I should mention, uh, the newer models have uh, the bigger headstock, the late 60s, early 70s one. And that is an upgrade, I think, because the more wood you have in the headstock, um, the better. I think it affects the tone of the guitar. Uh, this is the rosewood fingerboard version. You can also choose the maple fretboard. Um, the rosewood is slightly darker. The maple is slightly more bright. Um, I'm a fan of maple, but with this guitar, I don't know, it actually weighs out some of the brightness of the single coils and the entire construction, so... Yeah, you choose, you try them out and choose for yourself. Um, yeah, it's a really good guitar, I really recommend this. Uh, you should buy it. Um, I've actually bought this to have as my primary guitar, it's not even a backup. Um, and it's that good. I'll probably remove this though. Uh, okay, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and um, I have reviewed the Squire Affinity Strat, which really gets my seal of approval. Uh, see you soon. Bye.